Well, they had a lot of questions, of course, but Caltrans is looking for those questions, looking for that public opinion as they float the idea of adding a toll lane to this busy stretch of Interstate 80. If approved and if they decide to move forward with it, it would go from Davis to Sacramento. But tonight at that informational session, we heard mixed reviews on the idea. This is a section of Interstate 80 where Caltrans is proposing adding a managed lane. What that managed lane could look like is still up in the air. A toll lane is one of the options, uh, a carpool lane, also known as HOV, high occupancy vehicle, an express lane. Gurtej Patal is the project manager for the YOLO 80 managed lanes project. He says Caltrans wants to add a managed lane to improve traffic over the busy stretch of highway between Sacramento and Davis. It's the, one of the most heavily congested corridors in California. So the toll lane itself, if that's the chosen alternative or the managed lane in general, uh, will alleviate congestion through this area. Caltrans hosted an information session for people to come and see the renderings and ask questions about what could become a massive construction project. I think the roads should be for everybody. Oh, I'm going to come in with an open mind, see what happens. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm going to come in with an open mind. The idea is to construct a new tolled lane along 17 miles of I-80. The orange line on this map shows the stretch through Yolo County. It would span from Richards Boulevard in Davis to West El Camino on I-80 and to I-5 at 50, as you can see here. Well, I think more lanes and non-toll road is the best way to go. I think we pay enough gasoline taxes to afford to build highways. Alan Hirsch worries widening the road would only bring more drivers. So basically they're widening the freeway, they're making it more convenient to drive, so more people are going to drive. You're going to induce more driving. Right now, the project is still being reviewed, and there are about a dozen alternative plans standing by. Caltrans wants to hear from the community as they work to bring this vision to the region. Everything that we do is for the public. Uh, the, the headaches and the long construction periods are totally understandable, but at the end of the day, we are going to provide the most efficient transportation system possible for the traveling public. And at this point in the project, Caltrans says they really are looking for the public to weigh in on the idea. There's going to be another informational session at next month, December 13th. That one will be held in Davis. There's also an online survey that, survey that you can fill out if you are interested. In West Sacramento, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Definitely heard some interesting perspectives, Leanne. Thank you.